interested in something like this for a long time. Um, I, I think about all the sports and all that sort of stuff that happen here at the school and the, the young cricketers have plenty of role models to follow um, in their sport and the same with the young rugby players and swimmers but uh, perhaps our musicians don't have quite the same sort of role modelling available to them and so I thought that if we could try to get something happening where um, rather than trying to play the trumpet you know, without perhaps a vision of what they should be aiming for, now kids can say, you know, well I'd like to try to play the trumpet like Sarah Wilson and, and they have a concrete role model that they can copy and what's more, they're getting to know that person and working with them regularly. Actually being exposed to, to real musicians and being able to talk with them and hear them play is, uh, it gives, a, it gives these students a chance to explore a career around this whereas for a lot of them it's been a, a hobby to this point in time and, and this just shows them that there's actually a, a real possibility of career path in, in, uh, in music. The thought of working with professionals for starters has been exciting for them, they've, they've always uh, they've enjoyed that, they show them a lot of respect. The, the, um, the kids that have been working with them uh, are generally those who are higher achievers anyway. Um, so they know what sort of hard work goes into it, in any case, just on their level. And so to see someone who's a professional player, to them, it's someone they'd usually see on a stage, um, they found that alone to be exciting. Yeah, good. Well done. Well done, everybody. I've been giving group lessons to a number of students and also some private lessons to a number of students. So because the students already have lessons here at school and some of them have lessons privately, I've kind of sort of um, taken them back to basics and, and just sort of... Um, got them doing some of the some of the basic routine stuff that I've been doing as well as listening to some of their solo performance pieces and things like that. So the way we hold our mouth when we play is what we call the embouchure. So hold the mouthpiece maybe just with three fingers, two or three fingers, so we're not jamming it into our embouchure. Good, and again. Um, she's given us lots of um, different subjects that we can, so there's blowing, different embouchures, and that helps with the sound and the tone. The thing I've enjoyed most about the lessons with Lauren would have to be the, the weird tricks that you learn about your instrument. For example, like warming up, she taught me this amazing trick. It's, so you can go really high and it's within five minutes and usually it'd take me 20 minutes to get to that. So that sort of thing's been really useful. <laughs> been doing a lot of work on basics um, which I thought that they might be kind of a bit bored with but actually it's been good because there have been some fundamental things that we were able to really get into so we've done things simple things like breathing exercises and it sounds silly but quite often we don't have actual exercises to practice breathing and it's quite important for a wind instrument to, to be able to breathe well so we've been doing some of those and working on um, sound Simple things like making, you know, how do we make a good sound? One, two, three, four. We've also you know, played some music as well <laughs> as done exercises. So we've, we've done some ensemble work. We've done some trios and we've also done some larger pieces. There's a six piece that we're actually working on at the moment. The best thing about having lessons with someone from QSO, it's really great to um, get their perspective on how to like approach um, playing the instrument, like practicing the instrument and things like that and technique, it, that's been really good. The thing I like most about working with Sarah is she um, gives you um, ex exercises that improve for trumpet players range and um, just being able to get around your instrument a lot. I think this program that we've been doing with the Queensland Symphony Orchestra and Brisbane State High School has been absolutely fantastic um, as a chance to um, show the children, the kids at Brisbane State High School, that there is actually a, a world of music out there, that there's a future in music, because most of these kids 
they study at school and they think, oh, well, this is fun and this is, you know, a school thing. But I think with us coming into the school, we've actually given them uh, the chance to actually see that this can actually be a job and this can be, has a future outside of school. So when you go up, try to use more air, so rather than... So it gets a bit softer. So use more air when you go up. So before when I didn't have a professional bassoon sitting next to me, um, I didn't really understand or get what Mr. Rubin wanted me to do sometimes, but then with the bassoon next to me playing with me, showing me how to phrase something or whatever, it really, um, it really made me know how and understand what to do and how to make something sound. I want to study music at the conservatorium after school, and so I think learning from a professional musician, it really, really inspires you to just, to go for it. Once this knowledge is within the school, somehow the kids manage to pass it from one to another as well. Um, and so, you know, having specialists come in and be able to fix up these little niggly things um, is having an instant impact in terms of both the individual students involved and our school ensembles.